Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies 2 with myself, Lewis. It'd be brilliant having yourself a great day as always. It's almost the morning, the sun is making its way up. And this is a perfect time for me to tell you that I utterly failed. <laughs> Real badly. So I've just finished recording an episode literally 10 minutes ago and I went to go and I went to go and do all the stuff in Vegas and then I realized they didn't record any of the sound. Now it's, it's very rare that I do this but generally for our series I'll do this at least once or twice and it's just my fault for not double checking the uh, mic settings on DX Tory when I was doing it but yeah. So, I'm going to spend the first, you know, half of this video explaining what we did in the last episode, and then we will go from there. There's a couple of things I have to say first, though. I need to say thank you to some of you guys first, because you gave me so many amazing ideas. Absolutely tons. I asked in the last episode for some tips and tricks, and you gave me loads. So, let me run you through a few of them, which I think have been real handy. So, eating these brain jerkies is the first one. These guys are absolutely insane. They're zombie brains that we get from the farming zombies. You play them on a drying rack and you get these guys there might be some in there at the minute getting uh you know dried up let's have a look yeah we've got some dried zombie brains right there noise so these guys don't look like they give you much back right they don't look like they give you a great deal if you actually look at their little thing it's it's not much but when we eat one of these watch this poof Look at all of that, look at all that nourishment right there. Insane. And we get some aspects every time we eat some of them. It's just kind of random aspects. That is pretty insane. So we're probably going to be living off these for the entirety of the series, to be totally honest, because they seem pretty good. Uh, another couple of things that you guys have been telling me to do, which is good, is... Uh, <laughs> place that the ultimate the original 10 10 10 inside a drying rack so there we go we've got them in a clear view when we walk through the door the first thing that we'll see is the awesomeness that is the 10 10 10 i don't know why it does that weird kind of graphical glitch in my job right there but it you know it does it doesn't some there it is like it does it, it does it sometimes <laughs> I've also made myself a rapier, and this is pretty much the only rapier I can make at the minute because to make a sword blade, for pretty much most of the materials, you need a smeltery to be able to make a sword blade, and the only one that I could make was a quartz one. If we have a look inside here, I might still have one, yeah. So, we can use wood, but wood is... Oh, no, that's a tool rod. <laughs> we want a sword blade. There it is. So, we can use never quartz, certus quartz, man of steel, terra steel, void metal, tearjerker, pink slime. I haven't got any of those. We can't actually use stone, because stone doesn't work as, a, as, a, as, a, as an attachment for a, for a weapon. It's not a part. It's actually only used for making a cast in a smeltery so the only thing that i could do was search quartz that's all i had so i've made a search quartz one it's not amazing but my first level that i got on it when it went to comfortable i did get mossy and then i put another moss on it as well so we have two lots of repair on there because it's it's durability is fairly rubbish uh, I've also gone ahead and put some more upgrades on my axe, so I now have durability plus 500 because I put a diamond on there, and I got durability plus 50% because I put a emerald on there, and I put another piece on moss on there as well now. So we have reinforced 2, or repair 2, sharpness, haste, luck, durability, and durability plus 500. How insane is that? It's a like new plus. It still has four modifiers. It's, it's a monster. <laughs> it's literally a monster of a pickaxe. So, there is that, and I've been doing a lot of grinding, getting myself materials from gravel and such, so you can see in here I've got some base materials, and then these are the ones that I've processed through going through, you know, gravel to sand to dirt and all that stuff. So those are those, two diamonds, got some certs quartz, got some that need to be cooked up, and, uh, you know, some lapis, some redstone, all that good stuff. But the main thing that I did in the last episode is I went over this, so I made one of these choppers a stone cutter. And what this does is it goes ahead and you can place some uh, some saplings in there and a fuel and you can place a hatchet in there. Now it has to be a hatchet corresponding with the type of uh, the type of chopper. So what I found is when I made this, I was originally using my flint hatchet. I was using this guy, and then I put these upgrades on there because it doesn't auto repair itself when it's inside this because it needs to be in your inventory for the uh, for the for the for the uh, auto repair to work. So. I put more durability on there, so I put the emerald and I put the diamond on there, and that increased its mining level. And what that's done, which is a little bit annoying, is it's made it so now that it can own this guy can only go in a diamond chopper. So I try to put it in there, and no, it won't it won't work now. Even though it's flint, it still won't work. So 
What I did instead is I made three bone hatchets with, that have like the best durability that I can currently have, 139. I know it's not much, but it's better than nothing. And they're lasting a fairly decent amount of time. So we place this down, we put our hatchet, we put our saplings and our charcoal in there so we have some fuel. And then we put our upgrades in. Upgrades increase the range by, I think, like one every time, maybe a little bit more. Uh, and I got a range of 69 because I threw a handful of handful of them in there. So this is doing this whole area. And he's going to go ahead and place down the, uh, the, the saplings. And then he's going to cut them using the hatchet and place all the items in the chest above. So we have loads of wood. We have some saplings. We have some apples. And we have the two bone hatchets. I'm not too sure if it's going to auto pull the hatchet out of here. I don't think it does. No, if it does, it would have done it just then. So I, I don't think it does, but they're in there. I made some spare so that while I'm fixing one up, we've got another one to do its stuff. And I also placed down these guys here so that I could cut that up. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, that reminds me. I made one of these. I made myself a transfer node so that I could put some uh, cobble into a barrel. So there is that. And that's pretty much it. You know, not a great deal, but I did a, you know, I did an episode's worth of stuff. But I think I've gone over it pretty thoroughly. So we made the chopper, we uh, we, we made the transfer node, and that is, that's pretty much it. The uh, the quartz rapier I actually made off camera, so uh, you wouldn't have seen that anyway. So there is that. But if you want to know what it's made out of, it's made out of certain quartz, bone, and bone. Because that's pretty much the best thing I can currently make. So yeah, there is that. And there's this little area over here, which is going to eventually be the start of our main base area. I want to try and make it all grassy because, you know, a growing skies does say that the world has gone kaput and you need to go ahead and make yourself a load of grass and repopulate the world and all that fun stuff. The only thing I've found that's going to be a little bit awkward about repopulating the world and making it all grassy and green again is that the animals that spawn want to kill me. <laughs> so when I first made this, I didn't have this gate here. I came wandering out the base, you know, as you do, and all of a sudden, this chicken ran at me and started nibbling on my toes. And unfortunately, I had to slay him, and I believe the remnants of that chicken are in this chest. Yeah, there they are. So I've had to fence this off, and I'm growing some of this spruce here because I'm going to need spruce leaves fairly soon for when we want to get into Britannia, so... There is that. And you can see here that our uh, cobblestone started working as well. So we're starting to get mossy cobble from this. The water's starting to go down. Pretty cool, right? So, let's get cracking with some quests. So I do actually already have one to hand in, which is this one. And I didn't realise these until I was doing the last episode that was the failed episode. That Because I've been killing all these guys, I actually had, had a load of quests in here to hand in, which is pretty cool. So I had the creeper one, which gave me a reward bag and, a, and two blizz eggs, which are in the base at the minute. I'm not going to be using these blizz eggs um, until I have safari nets, because I want to try and grab one of them. Um, I did the, uh, the pig one, I think. Oh, no, I didn't do that one. I did this one. I got an emerald. And... Was that it? I think that might have been it. Yeah. And we got this one to hand in as well. There we go. Gives me one of those. I think I've done this one twice now, because you only need to kill five brainy zombies, and they spawn quite frequently. Uh, and there is the pointy sticks one to do as well. So let's go and place this inside. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of jiggery with this thing over here, because I would like to start getting lava together. We're going to need lava if we're going to make a smeltery, and I think the smeltery is kind of the next point of call, really, because it's going to allow us to smelt our ores a lot easier, as well as allow me to upgrade my gear so it's bad, because at the minute I'm kind of stuck around the flint bone quartz kind of area. If I want to go any higher than that, then uh, then, then I can't. <laughs> so we're going to need to we're going to need to sort this out. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a transfer node and I'm going to grab a transfer pipe. And what should we use? Hmm. Let's go with actually. I wonder if I can fill this up from this side. Let's give it a go. Because I want to try and not use as many of these as possible. So if we got rid of this one, then the only thing that's there is water. So if I did this and then did this, is it going to fill it up? Let's have a look. No. Alright, that's not going to fill it up. So, I think the only thing that we can do there is going to be... Let's grab a... One of these. Because I'm pretty sure it has to go in the top. If I remember rightly, I think this is a top one. Uh, let's get it on there. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that's what I want there. And then I would like to have... If we can get rid of this. Now, we don't need that there anymore. So we can put that there. And we'll start cooking up the cobblestone. Which is great. And then we're going to want another one here and here. 
Because I think what we're going to do here is we're going to put a fluid pipe and then a drum so that we can start getting absolutely tons of lava. And that should hand in a quest for us as well, which is pretty good. So let's place these inside here and look what we're going to need for a fluid pipe. So we want a fluid node, I believe. I think I already have most of the stuff for this. So a fluid node is going to need two bits of lapis. We're going to need a bucket, two bits of vine, and one of those. Okay. So two bits of lapis. I'm going to need a bucket. I've already made a bucket, which I think is in here, but I'm going to make another one. We're also going to need an ender pearl, so let's grab one of those. And we'll place it. Actually, how much wood have we got? Because I think this guy's doing pretty well. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, look, there's one in there. So it did place it in there. It just didn't put the new one in there. All right, so maybe maybe it'd be worth putting another chest on the side just with the tools in it, see if it'll pull them in that way. And that could be, you know, that could be pretty handy, couldn't it? Let's place those down there. There we go. Okay, all right, so let's put this together. So we wanted one of those. Nice. And you can go in there. I don't, you know if I, I don't know if it's worth doing a, a barrel or a drum because the drum's fairly expensive, isn't it? Because we need a crucible, we need all the metal, the, the uh, iron for it. I might actually just make a tank. I think that might be one way of doing it. So let's put this over here first. So if we place you there. It has lava in it? Yes, good. So the next thing we're going to want, in that case, we're not going to do a drum. Because I don't want to be using all my iron on drums just yet. Uh, let's go with... A tank. Now I'm pretty sure we have a quest to do a portable tank and for that we're only going to need one copper ingot and that you know that should be pretty easy so let's grab uh, we'll take eight so we can get a coal's worth there we go good stuff and you can go over here oh, the uh, the coal in here charcoal lasts for ages so you don't really have to worry about that and uh, while we're at it, and while it's doing that, let's let's repair this guy as well. Let's go get a bow from over here. And the reason I made a rapier, because some of you are probably wondering why I made a rapier over anything else. I know that, you know, people have their preferences. I, I kind of prefer rapiers. You know, some people prefer long swords. Some people prefer wide swords, whatever they're called, you know, regular ones. I prefer those. Because I just, you know, I just think they're more fun. So let's, can we do this? We can. Noise. There we go. And you can go back inside here. Cool. I'm going to try and get the rest of these there as well. There we go. Lovely. That's going to yield us so much wood. It's real handy to do that. As well as the seeds. Some of you are wondering how the seeds are doing. Check this out. I'm up to a 7, 6, 8. Pretty good. I think that's fairly decent. We're close to the 10, 10, 10. And I haven't been, uh, I haven't been watering it or anything. I've just been letting it grow by itself. So that's the reason it's taken it so long. And I have made a promise that after this, I'm going to go ahead and do potatoes because uh, <clears throat> we have a close friend of the channel, the potato. And I, I, I promised that I would do a potato next. You know, I don't know if we're actually going to use it, <laughs> but we'll, we'll make it anyway because we're, we're kind like that. So we've got copper, which is great. Oh, it used the last bit, didn't it? For oh, that's fine, that's fine. All right, so we got copper. We're gonna want some glass, and this will give us our tank. There we go. And if we're gonna have one of those, we're probably also gonna want a crescent hammer. So we're going to want four pieces of iron and a tin. We got four, yes. Have we got tin? Some like copper, nickel, tin. Lovely. And let's grab, can we burn slabs? Probably. Let's give it a try. There we go. You go in there. Nice. Actually, I haven't got a clue how much a slab does. So I'm just going to, actually, I think it looks like it does one. No? <laughs> okay. It doesn't even do one. That is such a rip off. Because you'd think that, you know, a p three pieces of wood for six slabs, you'd think it would kind of at least do one, wouldn't you? But, you know, we'll do that. And we're also going to want four bits of iron. And this should now put lava in there for us. Yeah, nice. Look at that. So we're getting ourselves lava. It's going to take some time and whatever's not going into here is going to go into there and then turn into lava for us. I think in the first agrarian skies, I, uh, did you see that that as well? 
it's it's a lie really because it says nourishing morsel it says it gives you half a little drumstick but that actually gave me all the way up to full and i was like three down so it's a mystery to me why it does that <laughs> but it does do it nonetheless so let's get a crescent hammer because we're going to need one of those if we ever want to use it so we might as well make it now there we go good stuff so we got a crescent hammer pop you in there for now and I got some uh, Futomaki from a reward bag. So if you wonder where that came from, it came from a reward bag. So there's that. And we should now have some quests that we can hand in. Let's have a look. I believe it was storage. Yeah, we made a portable tank. Gives me 10 sausages and bread. Very nice. You can go in there, I guess. All right, so while we're making lava, there's something else that I would like to get working on quite early. Now, we're not going to do too much of it just yet, but I do think it's something that we should start with, and that's Batania. Now, I want to get the bare basics done and start producing mana, because if we leave it late, it's going to take a long time to get enough mana sorted, so I would much prefer to just get it started now, and then we can come back to it later on and know that we've got a decent supply of mana already there. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a decent amount of quests on it anyway, so I think that's going to be a good thing. Now, from what I remember... We need to get some shears. Now, I don't have the upgraded bench or anything to be able to make the scythe, which we will eventually make, but for now, we're just going to make a, uh, a set of shears. Now, they don't last long, but hopefully, we should be able to get enough out of this. And from what I've read, we need to sift podzel. And in this pack, there is a recipe to make podzel. And we need these. This is actually lasting <laughs> a lot longer than I thought it would. Okay, I think that's the most of it. Can we get those ones? No. Alright, that's fine. So, with these, we can mix them with dirt, I believe. How much dirt have we got? Four dirt. I might actually set up a little automatic dirt thing as well while we're here. I might do that first. Uh, but for now, let's, let's at least do this. So I think it's that gives us Podzel. There we go. And if we sift Podzel, we should get stuff. Let's have a look. Oh, what was that? Hey, a mystical brown flower. Nice. So, we'll do the rest of these. And you know what I think we're going to do? I think it might actually be worth automating our dirt production. Because we can do that now. So, I think I'm, I'm going to do that. There is a lot and lots of um, wheat that's just sat around doing nothing. Because i got an overabundance of wheat now. Because of the gloriousness that is the 10-10-10. Uh, so, we've got mystical brown flowers. Mystical light grey. Green. Pink, white, blue, and purple. That's pretty good. I wonder if we need... Uh, do these get planted inside crop sticks? I think they do, don't they? Agricraft. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do these with crop sticks. Okay. Alright, where are we going to do this then? So if we're going to do crop sticks, might be worth actually just doing over here with all of these, we can ha kind of have it going around the outside. Hmm. That could look kind of fancy. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. I'm going to get I'm going to get some uh, I'm going to get some more dirt and then and then we'll do this. Actually no, no. Let's get this dirt automation out of the way and then we'll do this. Okay, so we're going to need some more nodes. So let's grab an ender pearl. We have so many ender pearls that it really doesn't matter. We can get away with doing these. I'm actually going to pro for some more. Throw some more of these in the drying rack. <laughs> well, Alright, so let's put these guys up here. Lovely jubbly. And they'll have a little bite to it as well. <laughs> nice! Alright, so we've got an ender pearl. We're gonna want some redstone. Only a little bit. There we go. We're gonna need some glass, which I'm cooking up now. We're going to need some stone slabs. There we go. 
We're also going to need a crafting table. So let's grab a few planks. Uh, no, we need a chest, don't we? Yeah, we need a chest. So we'll make a chest. Here we go. And let's bring up the recipe for it. So I want to make some more transfer nodes first. Now, I know that we have got thermal dynamics in this. So there's probably a few of you that are saying, you know, go ahead and use the uh, the fluid ducts and whatnot. I actually just kind of prefer transfer nodes. I don't know why I just do. So I might just stick with those for now. But yeah, uh, we need a couple more bits of stuff. So we're going to want four of those. And then we're going to want some more transfer nodes themselves. So we're going to want some pipes. Let's see if we can find the pipes in here. Let's have a look. Transfer. Cool. Gives us another eight pipes. So we have four nodes, eight pipes. Do we have any additional nodes in here? We have three more nodes. We have seven. So we can do... No, we can actually do pretty much all of them. That's insane. All right. And we're going to want a barrel, aren't we? If we're going to do this, we're going to want a barrel. So we'll need another plank. We will need a chest. And, you know, for now, I'll just take all those. So let's get another chest. And a slab. And that. Cool. So we'll place up there. Let's put our transfer node on there. And then we'll do this. Oh, I love how that goes behind there. Oh, that's so cool. All right, so there's that. Let's break these. And all of this can come out of here. And go into here. There we go. We'll break you. Pop you there. Have we get done in there? Is there a dirt in going in there? There is dirt in going in there. It's a little bit slower than I would have liked, but it is dirt in. So now that we got that, let's place these guys underneath here. I need to get them facing that. <laughs> That's uh, going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. Let's try. Oh, no, I can't do that, can I? Because the walls. Oh, can we break the these? Is it going to work? So this is taking ages. Oh, that looks like it's doing it. Is that gonna like break everything? No. All right. Okay. I'm gonna go around and uh, you know we'll just we'll just break all these now. So that will do that. And then after we've done this, we're gonna go ahead and place down all these Batania seeds. Now I think we can still do 10, 10, 10 stuff with Batania seeds, and it might be something that I actually do, you know, off camera. But I don't know how long that's gonna take. That's gonna take a long time <laughs> if I decide to do that. So, maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Uh, can I get down here? I can. Lovely. Alright, so we want you that, you that, you that, you that. And I'm going to break you for now. Pop you there. Nice. Let's place down this one. Get our slabs back. Cool, cool. And that should be doing everything for us. Insane. Where should we put this? Let's put a grindstone over here for now. Cool beans. And we'll pop you in there. Sweet. So that's going to go ahead and make dirt for us. We've already got five dirt in there. Which is nice. And we've managed to claim ourselves some lapis lazuli block panels. As well as some more green stained clay. Very nice. All right, I'm going to let a little bit of wood go inside here, and then we'll be back to set up our uh, flower farm over here for Britannia. Okay, so this is my plan. If we need to do it agri-craft style, then I think this could be a good way of doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and place water along the back of all of these. And my, my thinking is that we should at least try and get some decent seeds out of these, because if we can get more than one from picking them up, it's going to be amazing. And remember, each one's going to need a an area of three. And we'll need two of each. So let's start with like something like the grey. So yeah, that does go in there. Okay. So that's going to do that. And then we would have, for instance, another two right here. And we're basically going to go around and we're just going to keep multiplying them as we go. We'll get the stuff out of them. Which is great. And I think, I think this is going to work. 
So next we'd have like pink. Last but not least, we'll have those ones there. And doing it this way, we'll get the flowers because I'm going to be breaking them anyway. But I'll also be improving on them every time I do it. So eventually we'll end up with, dare I say it, 10, 10, 10 <laughs> of, uh, of those seeds. It might be worth actually making a, a chest. And I think that's going to do it. So for each one that hasn't got a seed yet, we should be able to multiply a seed to give that one a seed. So this one has two seeds. This one has two seeds. This one has... Oh, wait, those... Ah, oh, those are weeds, aren't they? All right, we need to grow this one first. So let's grow this one. <laughs> so we're going to want to spread it onto here. There we go. And then we can rake you away. And we'll break this one. Gives me another seed. Let's go ahead and at least scan it first. So we can do this. See if it's a regular one. I have a feeling this will just be a 1-1-1. One, 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 but, you know, we might as well have a look. And that's, yeah. Yeah. So you can go there. We'll let those ones grow up. Then we'll breed them in the middle. And I'm basically just going to go around and multiply all of them so yeah for these ones this one here needs it so green flower doesn't have a green so i need to get another green so i can do it on there i need to get another one of these so i can put it on there and another one of these so i can put it on there and then the uh the process begins <laughs> the wild process begins but you know i think it, it's uh it will work out eventually it's gonna be slow but yeah it will do the trick sweet Alright, well I think that's going to be out for today's episode, guys. Very sorry that I kind of missed a few bits out because my I forgot to check my uh, my, my audio tracks. <laughs> it happens now and then. It's just one of those things. I derp occasionally. I generally try and pull it back, but, you know, I did a little bit too much this time that I couldn't redo it, so. But at least you get to saw the, uh, the tree chopper in action. Loads of wood, loads of saplings and apples, which is nice. We're getting ourselves some lava, which is amazing. So we're, we're definitely going to use the lava eventually. Whether I even use that for power. I have a different idea for power this time around. Though. I think last time I did it, I used lava power from cobble. I got a different plan this time because I don't want to do the same thing two times in a row. Uh, so there is that. And yeah, I've got 24 dirt in there, which is good. we still got tons and tons of wheat. These guys will grow. I'm going to level up my sword a little bit. It's actually almost there. So, you know, once this is leveled up, that's going to be amazing. And we'll have a pretty decent rapier. And as always, guys. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I was waiting for that to happen. <laughs> we got plus one attack. What's this on now? Five? Yeah, it will, it will get there. It will get there eventually. Remember, guys, if you have any cool tips and tricks, then make sure to let me know in the comments section. Obviously, I can't do everything because, uh, you know, I've had a few people telling me to make a scythe. I'm going to make a scythe, believe me. It would be real handy for doing these, but I haven't got enough metal at the minute to be able to make the uh, upgraded tool bench to be able to make the scythe. So once I have that, I'll do it. <laughs> but if you have any ideas or anything like that, tips and tricks, let me know in the comments section. I generally make my way in there. You know, I'll snoodle around in there, have a little looky-see, say thanks to everyone. So, uh, yeah, if you know you have any questions or anything, drop them in there as well. I'll try and get back to you if I actually know the answer. If I don't, then I'll, uh, you know, I'll just message you saying, well, I'm, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Have yourself a great day. Have a good one as always. And bye-bye.